Hi everyone, I'm Emily from Making with Mommy and I am here today to share a little tour of our Plan Toys Victorian Dollhouse Halloween Makeover. Um, if you've been following along on YouTube, we decorated and renovated this uh, dollhouse from Plan Toys. It's called their Victorian Dollhouse and it also has the Victorian Dollhouse basement on the bottom. And we gave it um, an indoor and outdoor makeover last month, including painting the exterior, um, wallpapering and decorating the interior and creating some furniture. But we also just updated it for Halloween. So I'm gonna share some of those details with you and how we did it. So a lot of what I'm going to share with you, you could do to any dollhouse but I love this dollhouse in particular for decorating because there are so much space and it is such a blank canvas when you get it. It comes just completely natural wood. So one of the things that I'm planning on doing for all of our holidays that you can see here on this house is changing out the paper behind the windows. When you open the dollhouse, you can very easily attach a piece of scrapbooking paper. It's a little blurry, sorry to the back side of the window. I use like blue tack to attach ours and it adds such detail and fun to the exterior of the house. I also cut some paper ghosts out for a few of our windows and attached them. And then behind some of them, we have little uh, fake spider webs. There are some spider rings and things in a few of the windows. It's such an easy way to add an update. Um, and then the other things we did on the outside of the house, we obviously added this strand of lights that we just plug in when the kids are playing with the house, but they think they're really fun. They don't inhibit your ability to open and close the top. I just helped them a little bit. And then we have these bats, which were some little bat rings that I found at I think at the dollar store, um, we cut the ring section off the back and attach them with a tiny piece of tack to the front of the house. We also have these little foam felt or fake pumpkins attached here. We made a wreath with a pipe cleaner and a few little Halloween goodies. Mm. These spider webs are felt that I found and cut in half and attached to the front of the house. And then down here, we have some cardboard decor. So the two pumpkins and the tombstone were pieces of cardboard that we cut out and painted and then attached with a little bit of blue tack to the front of the house. Um, they just add some really fun, um, not too spooky whimsy to the exterior, which has been um, really exciting for my kids. Above the dollhouse, we hung this big spider web and we also made a cardboard moon and some bats with some sparkly paint just to finish it off. We did not actually update the majority of our interior decor for Halloween. I think that I might change the wallpaper around for Christmas, um, but for now I kept it the same. But we added a few little touches to make it um, more Halloween-y inside. And then something else I've added since the last video are these um, push lights. So our dollhouse is not in a particularly well lit, um, space in our playroom. And I noticed that my kids were having trouble seeing everything when they were playing inside. My daughter in particular, who's two, would take all of the furniture and things out. And I, I realized it was because she couldn't see. So these lights um, I found on Amazon and they attach with like a command strip and they're battery powered so she can just push the lights on. I put them in the bottom three floors. So there's two in the basement, two on this level, one on this level, and then none in the top because when you open that, it gets plenty of light on its own. Um, and that's, my kids have really loved being able to see a little bit better inside the dollhouse. We have some furniture and things that we've made. I rearranged a little bit and it's all movable. We've added a few pumpkins, found these little cauldrons and just placed the plants that we already had inside the dollhouse from our, that were shared in our last video inside them. And then painted a couple of peg dolls. We've got a skeleton there and a ghost. These are our Halloween planters. 
that I'm excited about. You can save these for sure from year to year and pull them back out in the future. This is a little wooden pot that I found at the craft store, painted black and sparkly. These are real sticks from our yard, painted black, glued inside with a few little Halloween odds and ends. So that can sit outside the house or inside while they're playing. And then we have some other ones that are just the faux flowers in the planters. Very simple little touches that you can make with your hot glue gun that just add a lot of festive holiday fun to your dollhouse. Place some pumpkins around and you're pretty much good to go. Top floor, we've got another cauldron pot up here in the kids' bedroom. Thank you so much for joining us on our Halloween dollhouse tour. We've loved being a part of this project with Plan Toys and can't wait to continue to share how we change and update our house throughout the year. This basement attachment for the Victorian dollhouse is going to be available starting October 19th. Um, and it is a fantastic addition to this house if you already have it or a great way to make your dollhouse um, bigger if you're looking into maybe gifting one for Christmas this year. We highly recommend it. Thank you.